Welcome back to episode 5 in our series of strange things found in the ancient prayer book. Don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel and if you hit the bell next to the subscribe button you'll get a notification when our next video comes out. And don't forget to share this video including on WhatsApp too. It really helps us out. Today's episode is about something discovered in the Quran which lay hidden for over 1000 years. It's pretty amazing and cool at the same time so let's check it out and dive straight in. A lot of the episodes in this series are about verses uh, which talk about science uh, whereas this one is really about the linguistic properties of the Quran itself. I'm not an Arabic speaker although I can read the Quran in Arabic. It's hard to pick up some of the amazing linguistic properties if you don't speak Arabic itself. Anyway, let's look at an example. Uh, the following verse that we're going to look at is called the Ayatul Kursi and cons is considered to be one of the most amazing because it talks about the attributes of the Creator himself. So here it is, chapter 2, verse 255. Allah, la ilaha huwa, none has the right to be worshipped but He, the ever-living, the one who sustains and protects all that exists. Neither slumber nor sleep shall overtake Him. To Him belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever, whatever is on the earth. Who is He that can intercede with Him except by His permission? He knows what happens to them in this world and what will happen in the hereafter and they will never com uh, compass anything of his knowledge except that which he wills. His kursi, his throne, extends over the heavens and the earth, and he feels no fatigue in guarding and preserving them. It is he who is most high, the most great. The Ayatul Kursi is one of the most profound verses in the Quran, primarily due to the meaning and power. However, many do not realize that the verse itself is a Quranic wonder. To give context, the Qur'an was revealed verbally. Once the prophets uttered the words uh, of the Creator, they cannot be taken back uh, and made changes to, as the people were memorizing them and putting them down on paper. The edit option was never there. That's precisely why the textual mirror in the verse can only be a miracle, since it was discovered centuries after the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, passed away. So, what is the textual wonder? This verse is made up of nine sentences in total, but they are all mirrored. Let me demonstrate. Verse 1 and 9. Allah, none has the right to be worshipped but He, the ever-living, the one who sustains and protects all that exists. And 9. Uh, and He is the Most High, the Most Great. Both talk about Allah and His greatness. Verse 2 and 8. Neither slumber nor sleep overtake him and he feels no fatigue in guarding and preserving them both talk about Allah not needing does not get tired and does not require sleep verse 3 and 7 to him belongs whatever is in the heavens and on earth and 9 uh, and 7 uh, his kursi extends over the heavens and earth both sentences explain that everything in the universe belongs to Allah Verse 4 and 6. Who is he that can intercede with him except with his permission? And they will never compass anything of his knowledge except that which he wills. Both are about interceding with God, which can only be done with God's knowledge and, pers uh, and permission. But now you spot, spot the problem, right? We only have one verse left, so where is the textual mirror? Did the creator of the universe and the author of the Quran make a mistake? Well, here is verse 5 and see for yourself. He knows what happens to them, his creatures, in this world and what will happen to them in the hereafter. Amazingly, verse 5 is the mirror itself. It says the Creator knows what has happened to them and what will happen to them in the future. The other part is also that it talks about what came before in the sentence and what comes after in the sentence. So the author, the creator, is actually talking about the sentence itself um, as well as what happens to everybody in their life. Amazing. And just to hit the point home, the Quran was revealed orally, memorized by hundreds of people, written down in a book 23 years later and then shared with millions and then billions. And the clever linguistic 
style stay, lay hidden for over a thousand years. If any man had written that, that down, they would have pointed it out from the start, saying, look how clever this is, check it out. But history shows that that just did not happen. It's just amazing, really, and another strange thing found in this ancient prayer book. You might be thinking, well, that's pretty cool, but how, we, how do we know that there is a God? Well, I created this video, uh, especially for um, people who have that question. Click the link and uh, it will explain why Muslims believe in God and what proof we have that God exists. So do check it out. This is just one of many, many miracles in the Quran and I'll be covering a different type of miracle over the next 30 day period. I would love to share them with you, so please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you're watching this on WhatsApp, all you need to do is click the link in the message and that will open up YouTube and you can subscribe to our channel from there. Finally, please, please share this video. It's the best way you can help us out. We want it to go out to as many people as possible. Thanks again for watching another episode. We'll be back tomorrow with another great miracle from the Quran.